morning everybody i spoke with my amazing assistant shayla which some of you guys know who said that maybe there was a little confusion about the i am collage assignment which makes sense i was just going to have you do a little practice yesterday thinking i'd be back today but i was told to stay out longer so um just in case you're struggling to figure it out from the reading i wanted to walk through um, what you should do today so i listed on today's post the sub instructions and then in just a second there's going to be this video here but this is the assignment to the im collage um, on that assignment it walks you through what it's actually about which is you so you're making a photo collage that's going to have pictures of you and who you are in some capacity you're going to include your name and the statement i am you need to use something called emphasis and something called unity to make it look the best that it can be i've got the steps laid out here which I'm going to go over really quick on this video so you can read carefully, thoroughly if you want, or follow the video. And then um, don't feel any obligation to finish today. This should take you a couple few days. So I'd love to see where you guys are when I come back, which maybe is sooner um, than next week, but we're waiting on tests, as many people are. So don't worry about running through this and finishing it. Don't worry about putting it in your portfolio. We haven't made that yet. There are examples at the bottom one that I made last semester, and then a couple different student examples. So first of all, uh, you're going to be making this in Adobe Spark. You're going to be going to collages up here at the top. This, maybe that doesn't, oh, well, never mind. Okay, hold on, go to home. There we go. I was on the wrong page. So on the home page, you're going to search for collages. Why? Because these are going to have photos in them. And I want you looking at kind of the layout of the pictures in regards to the text. Do you like um, seeing the squares and shapes and rectangles of the pictures? Do you like when the pictures are cropped? Do you like when there's designs overlaying them? But I'm looking for you to choose something that has three to four photos. Keep in mind that these um, crown, these paid might not come up for you and they might not work, which is kind of a bummer because it does minimize what you can choose. So let me go back up here to the top and we'll choose this one. So we're just creating from a template here as we practiced the other day. Now these pictures are going to be replaced with your pictures and that's probably the first thing that you're going to do. So if you're pulling in your own pictures, you have this little button up here which allows you to turn on airdrop. If you turn on airdrop for everyone and turn on airdrop on your phone, you should be able to airdrop to this computer. And it's listed by the number of the computer. So if you're at CG9, it should say CG9. If that doesn't happen, I had a couple people last week it just wasn't working for, then unfortunately you're gonna have to go around about or airdrop it to somebody next to you and ask them to share it. But um, when you airdrop in, I just put it in my downloads and then I put everything in a folder in my drive. Or if you have your pictures on your Chromebook, you can put them in your drive or you can get them from your phone to your Chromebook, put them in your drive, but have them accessible in your Google Drive. You don't have to use your own photos, but that's what you would do. So if you're going to replace from your computer, then you click this replace button and it's going to ask you if you want to replace what. And you can click on photos and choose photos from upload and then you can head to your you know, to your uh, Google Drive. This is reminding me that maybe you guys haven't done Drive File Stream. Mm. I will make a new video for that. Um, then to your Drive, then to wherever your folder is. Gotta go a ways, and then find that picture and open it. If you're not going to use your own picture, which is easier if this is really confusing for you, you can go to search for Adobe Stock Photos. So let's say your I am collage is that you are a, an athlete and you play soccer. So you're going to type in soccer and you're looking at these pictures and you're looking for a photo that's like not of a face, right? And you're looking for a photo that's describing kind of like what you want to show about soccer. Is it that you're on a team? Is it like you playing specifically? Um, you know, do these people and figures represent you or do you want something that's a little bit non-representative of people, like maybe just that ball there? Now, I noticed that it popped the photo in on top of everything. Let's try that again. So if I click this photo and then I click this photo, hmm. 
going right on top. Curious. Replace. Oh, I guess maybe it was the way that I went about doing it. There we go. So it looked like maybe I had, didn't go through replace. I just looked up stock. So you have to click on the cell, replace, go to photos, go to stock, and then it should work. And then you can move it around like so. Remember that you can edit it. Um, but there we go. Okay. So you're bringing in your photos. If you don't want to use all one, two, three, four, five cells here, you can delete a cell. It just says delete cell and it'll stretch that there. Um, it's kind of, you're kind of limited to the shape of that collage. So be careful and play around a lot. Now elements like these are up to you, whether you want to keep or you want to bring in other elements. I'm going to just delete that for now. And I'm going to bring in a text box to start my I am statements. Now you can start from a preview, like one of these templates that are showing you you know, a style, and maybe you're imagining that style integrated into this collage and you think it looks good. You can always change it, of course, though. So if I do something like this and I click it, I can type in I am, and then I can play with all those elements like we talked about yesterday. And then if I want to bring in a second one, which you're supposed to, which is going to include your name, you can either do the same template or you can just plain old add your text and edit it yourself. So then you can figure out how you're going to integrate that and play with all these things to make it similar or um, unified. You have to have I am in your name. The other thing you could have some people do are like, I am a soccer player. I am a friend. That's totally up to you. So on these examples here, this one was me as an art teacher. So these are all pictures of me at Cary Grove Art. This is Charlotte, and Charlotte chose kind of like icons and combination um, <laughs> effects from Canvas, and she wrote all of the I am statements. And this one for Charlie, he just wrote I am Charlie and has his four photographs, which look like a combination of stock photos, and maybe he got this Brewer's one from the internet. But that's the gist of the assignment. Remember that when you're in Canvas, or sorry, when you're in um, Creative express you can name it up here and it'll save automatically for you i would really recommend playing around with quite a few so i have quite a few different ones here that was messing around with some different um styles all black and white and i've got different things from parts of my life um, i've got pictures from home here so bringing in some design elements this one's just three different things that i'm proud of my kids my connection to art my connection to the music department so you know all there's infinite numbers of ways you can play with this but for today just start to mess around if you want to continue your one from yesterday great if you want to build a new one great ultimately you're going to end with one keep going on um, today's sub notes because there's a video of me expressing what to do, do, um, emphasis is right here. So emphasis is the way you're going to choose what stands out in your IM collage. And tomorrow I'm going to talk about unity and how to play with color, which we had alluded to last Friday. Good luck, you guys. Shayla's around in third and maybe sixth hour. Um, I'm sorry for fifth hour. Just ask me questions, email, do your best. There's no pressure. We'll just see what you guys can do.